Welcome back everybody. I am here to pull cards for what month are we in? August the 12th. <laughs> I've been making some plans so I kind of lost our month. Anyway, I'm going to be pulling one card for overall energy for the day and then I'm going to be pulling one card for the energy for each astrological sign and we'll see how those energies work come together with each other. So the overall energy card shows up as the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse can mean a couple of things. The biggest uh, meaning that's popping out to me right now is missing somebody. Um, there could be a few that this comes up as uh, wishing you had a little bit more money. Uh, but I feel like the bigger energy here has to do with uh, missing somebody. Let's see how it plays out for each sign though. Now let's see, Aries, what do we have? Boop -a -doo 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 -doo. Aries, I think that you're missing somebody who um, you feel like they can really give you some good advice today. And so you're wishing that you can talk to somebody who always kind of seem to have the answers whenever you were having trouble finding those answers. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Empress card coming up in reverse along with the Nine of Pentacles. Excuse the noise. Um, Taurus, I think it's going to be actually really tempting today to give of yourself for other people to a point that leaves you feeling um, kind of depleted. So you just want to stay on top of that and be aware of what you're agreeing to and what you're not agreeing to. And remember that no is not a bad word. All right. Next up, we're looking at Gemini's Knight of Swords showing up in reverse with the Nine of Pentacles. This is really interesting because I think what's going on here, Gemini's, is that you would like to say something to somebody, but you know you shouldn't. And I think with that Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the overall, what's going on here is you are just wishing that you could be as expressive as you would like to be. I think you're trying to hold back, but you're really wishing you could say some things. All right, next up, let's look at Cancer. Hermit card showing up in reverse. Cancers, this looks to me like you're feeling pretty alone today and you're kind of missing the idea of being around people at some point today. Next up, we're looking at Leo. Leo, Leo, Leos, I think you're generally used to doing things with other people, making plans and uh, doing activities with other people. And I think today, um, you know, whatever you're doing is, is a lot more independent than um, what you usually do. So I think you're kind of, you're missing the idea of having other people around you today, Leos. Next up, we're looking at Virgo. Five of Cups in reverse. Ba -ba -da -da. With the Nine of Pentacles overall. Five of Cups in reverse, Leo's is just telling me that, you guys, there is somebody that you miss with that overall energy being the Nine of Pentacles. But I think that even with missing them, I think you're starting to find ways to get used to the idea that you're missing them. With that Five of Cups in reverse, this, is, this isn't this is calling them up and saying, hey, can you come over or anything like that. This is just kind of adjusting that, okay, well, things are different. I still miss that person, but things are different and life is not going to be the same as it used to be before. All right, so who was that? That was Virgo. Next up, we're looking at Libra. Libra. Bum, ba, da, da. Libra, I think what we're looking at here is there's somebody who um, has been in your sphere of influence that you feel particularly close to on an emotional level. There's a strong emotional bond there. And I think that you're missing that person today. Scorpio. Ace of Cups showing up in reverse. What's going on here? Scorpios. Ba -ba -da -da, ba -ba -da -da, ba -ba -da -da. Let's 
Scorpius. I think you've got somebody around. Well, I should say us. I think we've got somebody around us who isn't being real. And I think we miss them really being real. So this could be something that's going on. You know, maybe um, if you were married and we're going to see our spouses, parents, and our spouse acts a little bit different around the parents. There's some people pleasing going on or they kind of fall into some old childhood habits when they're around them. This could be us watching that and kind of going, I wish you would just be real. <laughs> Everybody else in the world knows who the real you is. Your parents would love the real you. I wish you could just be real. This is, this is really what this is about. I don't feel like we're stepping in and saying anything. But we are seeing somebody who is, you know, just trying to make everybody around them really, really happy. And we're just wishing that they would be themselves because being themselves, first of all, is the most natural. And secondly, it's probably going to make everybody around them more happy than them trying to put on a show anyway. All right, let's see. Sarah Barry Ellis has a song out like that. I think it's called I Wish You'd Be Brave or something like that. Anyway, let's see. That was Scorpio. Next up, we want Sagittarius. Okay, so Sagittarius, you guys have the Six of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse is just telling me, Sagittarius, that I think you are planning on paying something off or you were at least want to have something paid off. And I think that it hasn't happened yet. And what I'm going to say here is you're really looking forward to whenever you get this thing paid off. That is your goal. You're looking forward to that. Because you can see how life is going to be uh, a little bit easier after that happens. For some of you, even so much easier. Capricorn, Capricorn. Capricorns, I feel like you're missing somebody that you could talk to about anything and you never had to worry about them having any judgment of you, okay? For some of you, this is going to be a grandparent that you're missing. Not all of you, but some. Aquarius. Lover's card in reverse. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Uh, Aquarius, I think that there is some kind of breakup of or disintegration of a partnership. Um, can be romantic. Uh, partnership doesn't have to be romantic, though. It can also be uh, a business partnership or a strong friendship. And I think that even though that is broken up, you're having a hard time being on the same page with this other person anymore. I do think that you still miss them and you miss the times really when things were better. Okay. And I think that was, that was Aquarius. All right. Next up, we're looking at Pisces. Pisces coming up with the Page of Wands. Oh my goodness. Pisces, you guys are making me think about that book or that movie, Eat, Read, Love, whichever version you have indulged in. I've indulged in both. Um, it kind of makes me think, if you have seen this, about the part where uh, the protagonist is talking about, you know, that, that she still loves her first husband, even though they're divorced. And, you know, she feels kind of bad about the way things went down um, because she knows that he ended up being hurt or whatever. Anyway, I'm not going to tell you the whole movie, but she's talking to her friend about this and, and her friend tells her, so love him and send him light. And then I can't remember the exact words, but the bottom line is, you know, send him some love, send him some light and then just let it go. And this is kind of what this is to me when this shows up here with the Page of Wands with our overall being the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is missing somebody. With that Page of Wands, this is this is basically like, like either you're get, getting some advice or you're actually doing the whole, okay, well, you know, you're at a distance from me. We're not together or whatever it is. And so you're, you love this person. And so when you think of them, you're sending them that love and then you're letting it go. You're not staying in some type of mopey, missy place. You're just sending that love and then you're moving on with your life today. Okay. So there is somebody that you're missing. You are sending them good energy of some kind, but you're not letting, 
um, you're not letting yourself stew in that energy of missing somebody. You're just sending them some good energy and moving on with your day. Very cool way to handle it. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Everyone have a fantastic day. Peace out.